Hello, Moonshot, and thank you, TechCabal, for bringing us all together. This is Jeremy Johnson, co-founder of Andela. Andela is the largest technical talent marketplace in the world, connecting thousands of engineers, designers, product managers into world-class careers, and ultimately connecting brilliance with opportunity on a global level. And we started right here in Lagos, Nigeria, so I'm thrilled to be with you today. Diversity has been a key part of Andela's mandate and mission since the beginning. What we recognized was that as tech companies grew, they needed ways to connect with customers all over the world. They needed to understand those customers' pain points. And in order to understand someone's pain point, you need to understand them. You need to walk a mile in their shoes. And if your team has spent time in that part of the world, in that country, in the culture that you are connecting with and serving, they will be better able to understand the problems and therefore solutions that could really move the ball forward and help your company succeed in that community. That's what diversity enables. It's a different way of being able to think about problems and to get closer to the actual problems you're solving for your customers. That's part of why I think most major tech companies have over the past five years begun taking diversity of their talent base more seriously and it's also an opportunity for us all to come together to understand that even though our problems may seem different, there's actually a lot more that unites people. And through work, we all can actually get a little closer together. I think the first thing we have to understand is that there is extraordinary talent all over the world. You've probably heard the phrase, brilliance is evenly distributed, opportunity isn't. That's been also a key part of our mission at Andela over the past decade. And to do that well, we need to first understand and believe that that's true, and then encourage and support that talent all over the world. Over the past decade, over 100,000 people have come through Andela training programs, and that's been a major part of how we've tried to encourage access to opportunity, but also access to the skills that the world needs so that our clients all over the world can tap into that. It's providing that opportunity and that access to the skills and experiences talented people need to be able to engage on a global level, I think is critical. Thankfully, we've seen much more of this happening year over year, but there's always more to go. And I think this requires a pretty meaningful partnership between private companies who care about access to talent, but also engaging with government in a meaningful way where you have access to like the resources, facilities, um, and ultimately the distribution that you get as a governmental entity to create a megaphone to help people see just what is possible and to help guide them towards the jobs the world needs. Right now, I'd love to see more active engagement around connecting people into AI as an example. The large language model or LLM world is exploding. There's a huge demand for jobs and the more that we can help people see that but also create pathways into engaging in that world and building careers in that world, the more we get to bring talent to the front lines and connect brilliance with opportunity. Anytime someone brings up the concept of boiling the ocean, you need to break it down into two parts. There certainly were two parts that enabled Andela to create much broader impact that feels now like boiling the ocean, even though in the moment it wasn't. The first is to actually break down the problem. It's to subdivide it and understand here are the specific areas we can impact that then enable access to a broader, broader level of impact. But the other side of it is making sure that you have the visibility from like global, like whether it's companies or technology leaders around the world to help shine a light on that problem. So as an example, when Mark Zuckerberg came to visit our campus in 2016 after our Series B, that helped create a huge amount of activity and interest in technology development and software development in Africa. Already that had started, already there was a lot of like excitement and engagement, but the ecosystem was relatively small. That helped shine a light on it so that we were able to then 
Like, look at how do we attract really smart, talented people into the space and then give them the tools they need to succeed on a global level, but also to get the international community excited about what was possible. So anytime someone says, how do we boil the ocean? The question is, how do we break it down to a very specific problem inside of that seemingly insurmountable issue and then shine a light on that problem in a way that gives us leverage to connect it into the global community. And if you can do those two things, if you can bring together a specific attack to the problem combined with broader awareness, it doesn't have to be Zuckerberg coming to visit you. It doesn't have to be Jack, Dor Jack Dorsey or Steve Case, but by being able to connect those two things, you end up being able to solve problems that seem insurmountable or like an ocean. There are a couple things we need to do to close the talent gap broadly. And first is to understand that there is actually a meaningful amount of talent that already exists across the continent. In fact, we've seen an explosion of talent at Andela since January of 2020. Literally just since then, so over the past four years, we've seen over a 400% growth in talent on the Andela platform in Kenya. We've seen over a 700% growth in Nigeria and over 900% growth in Ghana. So the talent is growing at an extraordinary rate. The question for deepening talent around the continent is not about whether quality talent exists, but it's about how do we gain exposure for that great talent into global cutting edge technologies like the AI world right now? How do we help talent work at companies like OpenAI or Anthropic so that we can leverage that global knowledge to bring it back into our communities and continue building local startups, leveraging that knowledge, but also high quality jobs. The more high quality jobs we can create, the more people share that knowledge, like here at Moonshot, which means we all get to learn, we all get to benefit from that growth and the development of the global tech ecosystem. Communities and conferences like this are critical to sharing access and insights to global knowledge to connect the great talent that already exists into that global tech ecosystem and in return to enable that global tech ecosystem to see how much great talent already exists. I'm so glad you guys are here and that we got a chance to talk today and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks to everyone here at Moonshot.